HIV virus who was patient zero. Professor Jacques Pepin, an epidemiologist at the University de Sherbrooke in Canada, has been trying to discover the origin of the HIV virus for decades. He began his observations back in the 1980s when he worked as a general practitioner in Zaire, now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Previous studies have confirmed the presence of monkey immunodeficiency virus SIV, in chimpanzees. The virus was first transmitted to humans in southeastern Cameroon in the early 20th century. Monkey immunodeficiency virus can be fatal to chimpanzees and is exactly the same as HIV. The only difference between the two is the host or the organism on which the virus feeds. HIV is an example of zoonotic transmission, in which a pathogen can spread from one species to another, like COVID-19 or avian flu. Initially, Dr. Pepin believed that HIV first appeared in a hunter in Cameroon in the early 20th century before spreading to Leopoldville, the city now known as Kinshasa in the Congo. Now 10 years after the initial publication Professor Pepin has updated his hypothesis and found that patient zero was not a local hunter. According to the new claim, patient zero was a soldier who wandered into the forests of Malandu in Cameroon during World War I, around 1916. Suffering from hunger, the man was forced to hunt chimpanzees, which is how the virus could jump from animal to human. Colonialism, hunger, and prostitution further contributed to the HIV epidemic, Pepin says in an interview. Chimpanzee hunting. During World War I, Germany had several colonies in Africa. The Allied forces decided to invade these colonies, one of which was Cameroon. Cameroon was attacked by a combination of British, Belgian, and French soldiers from five directions. 1,600 soldiers set out on foot from Leopoldville up the Congo River and its tributary, the Sanger River. The route took them to the remote town of Malandu, a place that had already been speculated to be the site of the first HIV infection. The soldiers spent three or four months in Malandu before moving on. While they were there, the main problem was not enemy bullets but starvation. The normal population of the entire southeastern region of Cameroon in the 1920s was about 4,000 people. The inhabitants lived off cassava and other local crops. The only source of meat was wild animals. When soldiers approached the town, local residents fled for fear of their cruelty. The army, deprived of the help of the locals, was left without food. Food deliveries from Leopoldville were supposed to come to the rescue, but they often failed to reach their destination. Logistical problems led to mass starvation and forced the soldiers to hunt wild animals. It is these events that may have started the HIV epidemic. My hypothesis is that one of the soldiers became infected while hunting in the woods. A chimpanzee was killed, and while cutting the animal to bring it back, an injury occurred in which the soldier was infected with the virus. The man eventually returned to Leopoldville after the war and was likely the cause of the first HIV outbreak, Pepin says. Prostitution and Poverty The professor believes that once the virus found its way into the human population, it spread slowly at first, confined to the colonial capital of Belgium at the time. Pepin estimates that this one case of zoonotic transmission in 1916 led to about 500 infections by the early 1950s. The spread of HIV at that time was mainly due to the reuse of dirty needles in hospitals due to resource shortages and limited disinfection facilities. In 1960, the Congo liberated itself from colonialism, which led to an influx of refugees and migrants to the cities. At the beginning of the 20th century, the population of Leopoldville was about 14,000 and today Kinshasa, the city's new name, is home to 14 million people. The sudden influx of people proved to be an ideal place for HIV to thrive, as there were as many as 10 men for every woman here. This led to poverty and widespread prostitution. Each year, prostitutes would have up to 1,500 clients. These were ideal conditions for amplifying the HIV virus, transmitted between large-scale sex workers and their clients. Sexual transmission accelerated in the 1960s, says Professor Pepin. He adds that Leopoldville was the center of the global spread of HIV. A man from Haiti who came to Cameroon after the country's independence also caught the virus and eventually took it home where it spread in the gay community. 
Within a few years, the HIV virus was exported to the United States, and in the States, it spread among gay men and intravenous drug users. From the United States, it made its way to Western Europe, says the book's author, says the researcher. AIDS has claimed more than 33 million lives so far, and the HIV virus that causes the disease still remains indestructible, although work on vaccines has been ongoing for years. In 2019 alone, 1.7 million people were infected with HIV.